once you get that thing running, you're making some money. Welcome. If you're new, welcome. If you came back, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Francine and on this channel I talk about personal financing, whether it's budgeting, whether it's getting out of debt, whether it's balancing our checkbook in a sense um i do all of that here on this channel and if you are interested in videos like this stay tuned i have a lot in store for you you won't be disappointed because i know i'm not <laughs> so basically you're on this journey with me as i am progressing from typical college students you know broke college student um into adulting and being responsible with our money and our time but let's get into this video this video i am going to be discussing five things to do with your tax refund so i know this is the time that we get our money from the government and we like yeah time to blow some cash blow some cash blow some cash but in reality we should not do that that should not be the thing we should do when we get our tax refund do not blow the money do not abort mission. Abort the mission. <laughs> this is typically a time, uh, especially around this time, it's like a, a reset. We hit January, we created our New Year's resolution, and we're starting new. And especially with this 2020 New Year's, the, the thing about the 2020, it's, it's, it's magical to me. I don't know about you, but it's magical to me. It's like a reset. Um, so we're basically resetting our life so why not reset our finances how we look at our fan financing finances what we do with our financing and what better way to do this with our tax money the money the bonus check that we get once a year so I'm going to give you a few tips on what to do with that money if you see me looking down I am basically looking at my notes I know I talk really fast so I will slow down for you yeah yes i will number one suggestion once again this is all suggestions i'm not saying this is a concrete thing you should do with your money but it is a suggestion it would better you and your family if you were to take these suggestions um so suggestion number one is to invest invest your money into your goals so if you had a goal of creating a business this is the time to do so if you if you already have a business and you are just some areas are not as good as as it should be this is the time to invest in yourself and your business invest in a few marketing strategies invest in the instagram marketing because instagram they they have some good marketing for five dollars and if you put away a hundred dollars that's like 20 days of marketing not 20 days of marketing but like 20 sets of marketing and who's can who could tell like what that marketing could do for you and your business just invest money into something that can make you more money and if you're investing in your business you're investing in that model another investing in your business technique that i am also looking into is drop shipping um i hear a lot of people talking about drop shipping and i feel like it's it's an easier way of having a business without ha getting your hands dirty um, especially if you don't have that much time on your hands, getting your hands dirty, shipping out products, creating shipping labels and all of that, that can be a hassle. So with drop shipping, from what I know, um, it's an easier technique. So I will have video, a video about drop, drop shipping when I do create get more knowledge. But if you know anything about drop shipping, comment down below because I would love to get a piece of your knowledge. Number two is basically to create your emergency fund so emergency fund as per what dave ramsey says you're supposed to have a thousand dollars saved up for an emergency just in case if something happens to you your car your family you have an extra cushion to land on if something was to go wrong i know some people do not do the thousand dollars some people do 500 some people do three to six months worth of expenses um just anything that tailors to you but just have a form of cushion with your tax money because that's 
that's a better way of using it than going to the outlet mall. Let's be real. Suggestion number three is to put money towards your kids' college fund. So a lot of people who have kids um, and they do their taxes, they get so much money back just for having a child. So if your child is giving you so much money, why not put so much money back into your child? Start saving for their education. And granted, maybe they don't want to go to college when they grow up, but maybe they want to do a trade school. Maybe they want to buy a house. Maybe you that money you you save for them may start up their business. But start saving up for your child if your child is giving you so much money from taxes. And I just feel like that's more wise since you do get a lot of money. And once I have my own, my first child, my second child, my third child, I will be doing this method because. I feel like I owe that to my child and that is a really smart idea because imagine how much money you put away for them every year because you're getting money for them by the time they're 18 you're like they got a good chunk of money in their bank account they already exceeded the emergency fund they're good not good good but like they're they're secured in a sense for four I know people were thinking that this was going to be number one, but it's not going to be number one. <laughs> this is put money towards your debt. The reason why I didn't want to put it to number one, because that's a typical thing that everybody says, and it is true. Put money towards your debt. You're going to need to get rid of your debt in order to do the things that you really want to do. Um, so put away like half of your, your tax money towards debt and you'll be good like you'll be you'll be straight you don't gotta do much if you know where that's from you know that was my little jason mendoza impersonation but that's not the point um put away money towards debt you're gonna it's gonna help you in the long run it's gonna kickstart your your year you're not gonna feel as much anxiety towards your debt if you just put a little bit extra during this time and now we are at the fifth one the fifth the fifth the fifth tip slash suggestion is basically to put money towards your sinking funds lady and gents <laughs> put money towards your goals your christmas funds your all of that and above put money towards that because it's going to help you maybe twenty dollars is what you may need to finish that goal and you'll feel accomplishment and it'll make you feel happy knowing that you finished a goal that you set and that you've probably been working on for a while so if that extra money can help you feel a little better on this journey do it do it then my bonus tip is to save for a house um i know some people don't want to be homeowners and they may not want to save for a house but i feel like this is also a really good technique um really good strategy because it'll kickstart your savings for a house if you do want a house but look into rental properties rental properties are really lucrative if you put in the time and the effort but you have to put in the time and the effort for a rental property to be lucrative but once you get that thing running you're making some money but yeah i know there's a lot of suggestions out there um but these are the suggestions that i really feel is important and some suggestions that people overlook um, but it's really simple make sure that you're good but this is extra money that you would have never gotten if the uh, the IRS did not want to give it back to you they really could have just kept it um, this is money that you paid extra to the government and had you didn't pay extra you would have spent it just like a regular paycheck so why not just take this little extra cash and make it count this is the year of making stuff count. <laughs> and that's it. I think that's it. That's it. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.